आई एम डी एच पटेल असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डेयरी टेक्नोलॉजी डिपार्टमेंट एट एस एम सी कॉलेज ऑफ डेयरी साइंस आनंद आई एम वन ऑफ द कंटेंट राइटर ऑफ पेपर नंबर थर्टीन फूड एडिटिव मॉड्यूल दैट इज फार्मिंग एजेंट ह्यूमेक्टन्स एंड प्रोपेलेंट्स एज वी ऑल नो द ईच कैटेगरी ऑफ फूड एडिटिव हैज इट्स ओन एप्लीकेशन एंड इन दिस मॉड्यूल वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द इम्पॉर्टेंट ह्यूमेक्टन्स प्रोपेलेंट्स एंड सम फॉर्मिंग एजेंट्स विद देयर प्रोबेबल एप्लीकेशन इन अ फूड सिस्टम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल सी द फार्मिंग एजेंट्स द फार्मिंग एजेंट्स आर सब्सटन्स एडेड टू प्रेसिपिटेड रेसिड्यूअल पैक्टीन thus strengthening the supporting tissues and preventing its collapse during processing generally fruits and vegetables contain pectin components and the addition of the calcium salt cause the formation of calcium packed gel which supports the tissues and affords protection against softening during processing the calcium salt is sometimes added to the canned vegetable in a form of a tablet containing both sodium chloride and a calcium chloride canned vegetables canned apples frozen apples and tomatoes are sometimes treated during the processing with the calcium chloride calcium citrate monocalcium hydrogen phosphate calcium lactate or calcium sulfate to prevent them from becoming a soft and a disintegrating the suggested level of use of these calcium salts is 0.02% that is calculated as a calcium in the final food product in a canned potatoes calcium chloride and a calcium citrate at a level of 0.5% calculated as a calcium are used calcium chloride as a farming agent calcium chloride is used in a canned vegetables in a farming soybean curd into tofu and in a producing a caviar substitute from vegetable or fruit juices it helps to maintain firmness of fruits and vegetables or interact with gelling agents to strengthen the food structure calcium chloride act as a firming agent in a cheddar and a cottage cheese a calcium chloride may impart stomach irrita irritation in a sensitive people a calcium phosphate a mono calcium phosphate is used as a source of calcium to improve the structure from low gluten floors it is also used to increase the firmness of canned vegetables such as carrot and a tomatoes the another is konjac in a table desert gels and aspics 0.6% of konjac gum kappa keratin blend gives firm cohesive textures the thermally stable glucomannan gel is used in a coarse ground sausages and a meat analogs as a texture modifier and a water binder the typical products include aspics shurimi frozen desserts sauces and a batters a calcium sulfate a calcium sulfate is used in the preparation of water for brewing to provide both calcium and sulfate ions which are present in naturally hard water in a canned fruits and vegetables it is used to provide calcium ion for reaction with natural cell wall pectin to maintain the firmness of the pieces in a baking it helps bubble stability and a stale cell strength now we will discuss about the humectants as we all know the humectants are the food additives which are added to retain the moisture into the products generally humectants are polyhydric alcohols and most of them have a laxative effects that will restrict their use in the food system so let's see one by one the next category of additives is humectants the humectants are hygroscopic substances incorporated in a food 
to promote a retention of moisture it prevents food from drying out by counter reacting the effect of a wetting agent atmosphere having a low degree of humidity the example of products that use humectants include shredded coconut cookies glazed and dried fruit gelatin products and cakes the high dosage of polyhydric alcohol may cause a laxative effect and usage is somewhat limited as a result the important humectant is a sorbitol it is widely present in nature particularly as a constituent of many fruits and berries the sorbitol syrup is also used as a efficient humectant and as a sequestering and emulsifying agent in a confectionery and bakery products as well as mayonnaise creams and sauces excessive consumption of sorbitol can produce a laxative effect the next humectant is glycerol it is used as a humectant to keep a food stuff moist to the palate without the risk of mold or a bacterial growth it is also used to retard the staling and to improve texture by plasticizing the food the glycerol is also a less volatile than water which means that is a better at maintaining the moistness over the shelf life of the product it does have a particular taste effect of leaving a slight burning sensation in the throat which limits the quantities that can be used in a product the glycerol is used mainly in a cakes as well as the confectioneries the another humectant is xylitol that is a masking agent and as an energy source in a intravenous product the xylitol is well tolerated but as with other polyols excessive consumption can cause a laxative effects the lysitol is used in a chewing gum mints and a gum arabic pastels and other confectionery it is also used in a toothpaste mouthwash and other dental specifically products and as an excipient in a pharmaceutical products erythritol it can be used as a sweetener like other currently permitted polyols apart from sweetener it can act as a flavor enhancer carrier humectant stabilizer thickener bulking agent and a sequestrant the erythritol has a laxative effect but at a higher dose than other than the polyols the typical products that can be used it is a confectionery desserts food supplements and a liquors the next is polydextrols polydextrols function as a humectant and a retard the loss of moisture in a baked good which helps protect against staling it is used in a no added sugar energy reduced or a dietetic products including chocolate hard candy frozen dairy desserts baked good fruit spreads and fillings surimi and a beverages the polydextrose may also be used in a conjunction with other material as a film and a tablet coating agents the next is propane 1 to diol a propane 1 to diol is also known as propylene glycol and the it is very much useful as a anti caking agent anti foaming agent emulsifier flow treatment agent humectant stabilizer thickener carrier solvent etc now coming to the another category of food additives that is propellants propellants help propel food from a container they are pressurized gases used to expel food from its container the pressurized aerosol container are used to dispense fluid food products 
in a form of a liquid foam or a spray the use of propellants provide the necessary pressure to force the fluid food to out the aerosol contain the most commonly used propellants include a nitrogen nitrous oxide and a carbon dioxide the later propellants are generally used to dispense foam and spray type products such as whipped cream cheese and a mustard this is because nitrous oxide and a carbon dioxide tends to dissolve in a fluid food and expand during its release from the container causing the formation of spray or a foam the nitrogen does not exhibit such properties and thus is used to dispense food that are required in a liquid form examples that is oil and a syrup now let's see one by one a nitrous oxide it is used in a whipping creams and a mousses and as a propellant in a aerosol creams the nitrous oxide is very reactive gas requiring a safety measures the shelf life in a packaged dairy products can be extended by the use of nitrous oxide where oxidative rancidity can be avoided the typical products includes ready to serve whipped cream the whipped cream by nitrous oxide has a higher foaming stability and the taste of nitrous oxide contained whipped cream is similar to a air whipped cream the next is butane and isobutane both are colorless odorless flammable gases at a normal temperature and a pressure they are readily liquefied under pressure at a room temperature and are stored at sieved as a liquids the butane and isobutane can be used as a propellants in a vegetable oil pan sprays and water based emulsion sprays the next is a propane propane is a colorless odorless flammable gas at a normal temperature and a pressure which is easily liquefied under pressure at a room temperature the propane is stored and sieved in a liquid state the propane can be used as a propellant in a vegetable oil pan sprays and a water based emulsion sprays so by this module we can come to know the different types of farming agent humectants and propellants are used in a food system and their application in a food industry thank you